Learning and memory are closely related. Learning is impossible without memory and memory has no meaning without learning. Learning Learning refers to natural mechanism by which the individual changes his or her behavior on the basis of past experience. Learning is of two types, non-associative learning and associative learning. Non-associative learning In non-associative learning, the subject learns about the properties of a single stimulus. It results when an animal or person is repeatedly exposed to a single type of stimulus. Two forms of non-associative learning are common in everyday life, life that are habituation and sensitization. Associative learning. In associative learning, subject learns about the relationship between two or between a stimulus and a behavior. Two forms of associative learning have been distinguished based on the experimental procedures used to establish the learning, that is classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Classical conditioning. Classical conditioning involves learning a relationship between two stimuli. It is also termed as a Pavlonian conditioning or conditioned reflex type 1. Characteristics of this condition reflex. A conditioned reflex is a reflex response to a stimulus that is acquired by repeatedly pairing the stimulus with another stimulus that normally does produce the response. It depends for its appearance on the formation of new functional connections in central nervous system. There is a reinforcement. It is a process of following uh, conditioned stimulus with a basic unconditioned stimulus which is must for retaining a conditioned reflex. Otherwise, it will extinct. Pavlov's experiments. This experiment demonstrates the classical conditioned reflex. When food, that is an unconditioned stimulus, is presented to a hungry dog, it produces salivation, which is an unconditioned response. If bell is rung, I mean, which is a conditioned uh, stimulus, just before the food is presented, the dog learns to associate the bell with the food. Eventually, the ringing the bell, that is a conditioned stimulus, alone causes salivation. Note that if food fails to appear consistently when the bell is rung, the conditioned, uh, conditioned response fades away, a process called as extension or it is also called as internal inhibition. Therefore, a conditioned reflex needs to be reinforced frequently, otherwise it dies out. Physiologically, the occurrence of conditioned reflex is explained by formation of new functional connections in the nervous system. Operant conditioning. Operant condi conditioning is a form of conditioning in which animal is taught to perform some task that is operate on the environment in order to obtain a reward or avoid punishment. The operant conditioning is of two types that is reward conditioning or adverse uh, uh, and adverse conditioning. Reward conditioning uh, in, in that a naturally occurring response is strengthened by positive reinforcement that is uh, reward and in adverse conditioning here the naturally occurring response is weakened by negative reinforcement which is 